Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea Ali. I'm a professional makeup artist based in Paris. And in today's video, I'm going to recreate this look right here. I've posted on Instagram about the look that I did on Lily and everyone wanted to know the details about it. So here we are today. This is the look on me. It looks slightly, slightly different because you know, I'm a different person. But I promise you, I'm going to give you the exact product of this look that I was just so proud of the way it looked like in real life, but also in pictures. When I did Lily's makeup, it was my very first time doing her makeup. So I kind of took a risk there because she told me from the very beginning, she likes something that's very, very natural. But, you know, having her in front of me and, and she's just so gorgeous and she was wearing black. I thought that, oh my God, I could do so much with her face. Uh, so I took a risk by asking her if she would let me do a pop of color. And I was so happy because she trusted me and she loved the look at the end. Okay, now with no further ado, let's get into how I've created this look. I just got back from London. I had an event that I had to attend last night and literally got straight to the studio. And uh, honestly, I didn't even take my makeup off. If you wanna skip this step, go straight into the makeup application. I'll put chapters so you could go straight. But if you wanna see what my makeup looks like on a regular daily basis, this is it minus the lip right now there is nothing on my lips but i am wearing every day i'm wearing spf like a tinted spf i'm wearing a little bit of concealer uh, i have bronzing powder i always have a bra on and i always have mascara the thing that i don't use all the time is powder i don't use powder all the time i mean i don't have to i don't think i have to uh, yes, the skin is a little bit uh, oily here and there, but I, you know what? That's okay. It's not like I'm going to take pictures, so it's fine. Another thing that I don't use every day is blush. I don't use highlighter every day, and I definitely don't use any eyeshadow when it comes to my everyday makeup. The most important thing for me right now is the way my skin looks. I feel like a, a healthy looking skin with no no problems such as redness or dark spots or melasma that's a youthful looking skin healthy skin in my eyes is like youthful skin so that's what that's what i'm fighting for right now i'm trying to do a lot of treatments i use all the devices in the world you should see me at night i look like robocop so that's why i don't really use a lot uh, of stuff every day and the reason why I didn't get straight into the makeup and I didn't want to skip this part is because I wanted you to see realistically what I look like in my everyday life. This is my face 90% of the time. If I have to go to an event, if I have to, if I have a meeting with someone that works in the industry, of course I'm going to put an effort. Of course I'm going to apply, you know, a little bit more makeup, a lot more structure. I'll be more interested in the way I look. But for every day, I don't like this this is my face. So, just in case there are people here who feel pressure to have many products or to look in a certain way or to have their makeup done, I don't know, like full glam. I mean, if that's what you want, go for it. But for those of you who feel just the pressure of doing it, I'm a good example of like, I, I don't do it, okay? So here's your excuse if you needed one to not wear a lot of makeup. Now, let me show you what I would normally do if I had to redo my makeup after a long day. I've applied this makeup at 6.30 in the morning. It is now 5.30 p.m. I look a little tired. I was traveling with the train. Normally it's like a two hour and a half ride from London to Paris. But if you take the train often enough, Paris, London, London, Paris, you know that it's very rarely that's actually on time. First thing, I'm gonna take everything off and I love to use Bioderma Missler water because it's just easy. I always have this on my table and I'm gonna show you how much makeup I'll have on these cotton pads this is how much makeup I had well not that much now because I don't want to aggress my eyes 
especially that I'm going to show you guys a makeup look, I just press a little bit on the lashes. I'm wearing a Lash Clash mascara from YSL, which is, I'm not gonna lie, it's a pain to take it off. And when it comes to eyebrows, try not to do this, okay? Try not to do it. You know why? They will fall. So just make sure you break the product first. At night, I use a cleansing balm. Like, I use this. I use the Kat Berkey uh, Vitamin C Nourishing Cleansing Balm. This is great. However, if I want to take my makeup fast, and even with a client, if I want to take her makeup a fast, then I will most definitely use micellar water. Skin is nice and clean, and I'm going to go straight into skincare. I always start with Universe Skin Peptide Serum Mist. Cell Rejuvenating Power Serum. Ooh, is this falling apart? This is the same system with Biologique Recherche, except uh, it's a lot prettier packaging. I've used the serum a couple of times in combination with the priming moisturizer, and I just adored it. Now, something super important, by the way, prep the skin for a client. It really depends on you know, what she's doing. When I prep the skin for my clients, obviously it depends on the skin that I'm dealing with, but a lot of times I won't apply as much as you would think. One, because there is no time for the product to be absorbed. So I, I only do like a good, you know, massage and like five step routine or maybe a mask or if I have like two hours and a half to do the makeup. But if I only have like one hour 45 or, or two hours, I would have to be okay with doing like a three-step skincare routine. Maybe a toner or an essence, moisturizer and eye cream. And that's pretty much it. The reason why I don't like to apply a lot of products on the skin is because, like I said, there is no time for them to be absorbed. And then I end up having so much moisture on the skin and then I would have to apply a lot more powder than needed and and at the end the face would just look very cakey so there is a place and a time for doing a, a good skincare routine for your client the most important thing is to always prime not to always use a primer I don't always use a primer it depends on the skin but by priming meaning preparing the skin for makeup and for me that is applying at least a moisturizer you know what i mean except for maybe if i would have to do a dancer or you know a singer or someone that would would perform physically and they would sweat a lot in that case i would not use moisturizer necessarily okay this is victoria beckham by augustinus bader cell rejuvenating priming moisturizer in golden so it looks like this i love to use this on clients i just love 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 so it gives you beautiful glow i'm wearing self tan so this is just perfect because my face is a lot more pale than my body the one thing you should know about this product from victoria beckham is that it has pigment and this pigment in case you have dry patches on your skin it will build up in those places and it will make you look like you have dark spots i'm just trying to make you understand this product the best right i mean i love it but i've noticed like i, I was a little dry here so what i did was just like spread it a little bit more because i saw that pigment kind of building up there okay on my client lily i was using revitalescence foundation from shiseido i like that foundation for clients it's absolutely insane the glow the finish however i think that for me in order to achieve that flawless looking skin i need just a pinch more coverage Therefore, I'm going to go with House Labs Triclon Foundation. And this one is in the shade 210, light, medium, neutral. It's slightly darker. I've mentioned I do have self-tan on. You see what a beautiful finish it has? Now, let me spread it with a brush. This is BK Beauty 101 Foundation Brush. Because it's just so big, it spreads the foundation super fast what i would typically do on a client is apply the foundation with a brush 
then I will use a beauty blender to take the excess off. Taking my beauty blender, this is a clean, damp beauty blender. The first thing that I do when I see a client is wash my hands and wet my beauty blender. So now I'm just taking the excess off. And if the foundation was not spread evenly with the brush, this process now will guarantee that everything is nice and really, really evenly spread. Next will be the concealer. On Lily, uh, honestly, I was using um, Touche Eclat from YSL, but again, I need a little bit more coverage for myself. So I'm going to go with Makeup by Mario. This is in 180 and it's perfect shade for when I uh, have self tan on. If not, um, I will have to mix it with 160. Then again, I like to use a brush. My favorite brush to spread the concealer is the one from Hourglass, actually. I love that brush. I think it has such a good shape for under the eyes. Now, here's a trick that I don't think you've noticed that I do. So I spread the concealer, right? Or so it looks. But what I actually do, I spread the concealer, but this part where I'm usually darker, I don't spread it all the way. I kind of let it marinate it in there. I kind of always do concealer as my base when it comes to clients, but I do like to use, for example, the eye primer from Rare Beauty. I think that's a really great eye primer. On Asian skin, I would normally use eye primer because the way the eye is shaped, it's very easy for the eyeshadow to crease. I know it doesn't look like in the pictures, but I have used contour. This one to be specific on Lily. So this is Tom Ford. The shade is Intensity One. I would typically use this product with a synthetic brush. This type of shape, this is my Kitco 021 brush. So I take the excess on the back of my hand and then starting always with this part of the face just to define a bit the, the cheek. Because after foundation, the shadows are just erased on the face and it doesn't have to be super defined. You just need to bring back the shadows, basically. A little bit of contour on the forehead and of course, contour on the nose. I say of course because if contour is something that I never use on a regular basis, on myself for special events it just completes the look taking my concealer brush and making sure that it looks as natural as possible now it's time to set lily has amazing skin absolutely adorable skin that i didn't like to suffocate i have used powder on her and to be specifically i've used this powder on her but you know, I feel like on me, I need to apply a little bit more. This would be just my finishing powder. On myself, I love Huda Beauty. I use the shade Cupcake, Cupcake yes. with a powder puff. Before I set everything with powder, I look at the concealer one last time. And that place where I've marinated the concealer, now I go over it. If you let the concealer sit a little bit under your eyes, it kind of increases its coverage. I'm not going to bake, but by pressing the powder like this, you just achieve that flawless looking skin. I use powder on the eyebrows, not when I do my everyday makeup, but for photography makeup, for sure I do eyebrows. I do powder in between the eyebrows, then I take the beauty blender that is damp and I clean just a hair and the powder remained like on the skin in between the eyebrows, which is exactly what I wanted. If I don't do that, the head being the hottest part of our body, what happens with the flashlights and with the heat of our own body, whatever product you're going to use, our face, our skin is going to kind of dissolve it. Have you ever noticed you take a picture and you're, you see your eyebrow kind of glowing? Try this trick. Do powder, take the excess because nobody likes gray eyebrows, right? Take the excess, 
with a either a powder puff that you wet or uh, you could use you know just a tissue but I think the best is to use a, a damp beauty blender now I take just a fluffy it has to be really fluffy brush not too dense just to take all the excess powder off this is something that I do for red carpet I would apply powder here not a lot I don't bake but I do like to apply powder right here. And this is something that I don't necessarily do on myself. Then I take the excess off. Now we're having the finishing powder and this is the Charlotte Tilbury Adore This Powder. I use the same brush and I just go over the entire face. What this powder does, I cannot explain to you, but it makes your skin look airbrushed. Another powder that I love to use is this one from Shantekai. This is called Real Bronze. A really, really great powder. The reason why I like this powder is because it has a little bit of glow that looks absolutely stunning in picture. Well, this is the powder version of this. I adore this product. So I kind of go all over. Let me do the eyebrows really quick. Anastasia Beverly Hills in Brow Wiz. I'm gonna do very, very light movements. I want the eyebrows to look super natural. Next, I apply the brow gel. It's the Brow Freeze Gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love this product. I mean, this is the only brow gel I currently use. Remember that brush that I was using for powder? Well, I'm going to take that and do a quick swipe all over the eyelid. Now, when I did the makeup for Lily, I told her I want to do something very, very simple, but I want to add color in a very elegant way. And she's like, color? I don't, I don't, I don't think I like color. And I'm like, can you please like, just trust me? And it was very, a very tricky one because it was the first time I would do her makeup. So, you know, when you're working with a client for the very first time, you guys, it's super hard to like be the perfect match. You know, it, it would maybe take a couple of times until you actually get the person, but there are clients who see that you could potentially achieve the look that she has in her mind and then she's like okay maybe this time it didn't work out but definitely for the next time I'm sure it's going to be perfect and obviously as an artist you want for the client to absolutely adore your work from the very first time right you just want her to feel confident and beautiful and to just look in the mirror and just adore herself and with Lily, this is exactly what I wanted from her. I mean, she makes no exception. I mean, don't get me wrong. When a client tells me she wants very little makeup, now I know how to read the room. For some people, natural looking makeup is the makeup that, for example, Kim Kardashian is wearing. And for me, it's like, that, that's, that's not now. Like, I, I'm from Europe, okay? Uh, I live in Paris. That's not natural makeup. <laughs> that is a very camera ready makeup created with neutral colors which is completely different than doing a natural makeup look but now i've learned especially if i'm working with an american and if if they say i want natural makeup look i would typically show pictures like do you consider this natural and i show like full face full glam type of makeup and she would be like yeah that's 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 about it i'm going to use inglot gel liner this is in black it's the blackest black when i do this black gel i just take my time i'm using a tiny little brush and i'm going to do more of a straight liner do you see how i did not follow my last lash which is something that i would normally do on myself i just went a little bit higher so that it lifts the eyes and also it's more straight. There are people who are doing it from like one take. I just built my eyeliner.
and the product, the magnificent product that I was using that gave that beautiful pink glow. It was really depending on the light. It, it had different reflex. It was so beautiful. It is this pigment from Carla Cosmetics. I've been using Carla Cosmetics in my makeup kit for a very long time. I think they're one of the best when it comes to their pigments. And this one in particular, this is in Dolly and it has green and purple and pink reflexes and it's just amazing. Now, don't be surprised if it's not going to look the same on me because this, like I said, it really depends on the light. Now I have crazy strong lights in front of me. I did not have that when I was filming the video. So please keep that in mind. Now, normally when I use this product, I like to use the potion, what is it called? Fix Potion. But with Lily, like I've mentioned, it was the first time I did her makeup and I wanted this to be something super, a haze, like a, a little bit of color, nothing crazy. So if you want this product to be stronger, I definitely recommend you the Fix Potion. If you want just a little bit of color, then you're going to use it on its own. I also love the packaging. Normally, these type of pigments, they would just go everywhere in your kit. But because it has this security system right here, I just adore it. So I'm gonna put a little bit. Now I've applied this everywhere on her eyelid. Obviously it's not going to look the same on me because I think this type of product looks amazing on Asian eye because they have so much eyelid space. open your eye wait yeah not the same you guys you see not the same oh my god i was just trying to put to prove a point now this look requires a lot of mascara and even individual lashes i'll be fully honest with you we were in a super hurry and had zero time for lashes, which I was so upset about. I mean, you know, I did my best with mascara and eyelash curler, but I think the look would have been even better with lashes on myself because uh, I think I have pretty good lashes. I can get away without. I'm using Lash Clash, of course. That same product, I was using it on the apples of the cheeks like so i thought it will look absolutely gorgeous the show she was attending was at like 8 30 p.m she was attending alexander mcqueen and i thought oh my god it's going to look so beautiful at night and it really did does it look the same on me no it doesn't <laughs> When it comes to the lips, uh, I've noticed that Lily already loved a good overline lip. So that's what I did. Iconic Nude from Charlotte. Then I was using this lipstick palette that uh, I've done it myself. I mean, this is a lot easier to have in the makeup kit. All these lipsticks are from Pat McGrath and I was using a mixture between this one and this one right here which is let's see this one right here is Venusian Peach and this one right here is Define Rose let me double check yes it was a mixture and I remember this specifically because at the end of the makeup I always give my clients a little um retouch kit that includes the lipstick that i was using so i just used the spatula scoop a little bit of the lipstick that i was using put it in um, a little let me show you i just get these on amazon so just a little bit of lipstick in one of these so they can retouch the lipstick because it's usually something that fades especially if it's uh you know it's more on a natural side it wasn't too much lipstick and I usually use something like this to apply the lipstick if I don't want it to be too precise. 
So more of a fluffy but small brush. So this was the base. Then I took again that pigment and with a brush, I've applied a little bit on the cupid's bow and a little bit on the lower lip, like so. And then this is just clear gloss. I need just a little bit more lipstick. Okay guys, and I know it might not look like the exact same. Obviously we have different skin tones and we're from different ethnicities, but this is exactly what I was using on her. And this is the product that I was using on the eyes, on the cheeks and on the lips as well. And that concludes today's makeup look. I'm going to take one look at a time and recreate. Please check out my Instagram and let me know which one of these looks right here you would want me to recreate next. I think a lot of the looks that I did uh, during the fashion week uh, in Milan and in Paris were really, really uh, beautiful by their simplicity. And if there's anything that you want me to recreate, I would gladly do it. As usual, every product that I've mentioned is in the description down below, along with my shirt, my earrings, my necklace. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well, so you don't miss any of my tips and tricks and makeup looks that I do on myself and my clients. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!